I'm Angela Lamont here at Google Atmosphere London. I'm with Amit Singh from Google. Amit, you kicked off the uh, plenary session this afternoon with quite a broad look at what's happening out there. How did it go? I think it went well, but you should probably ask your audience how they <laughs> felt about it. Uh, there's a lot going on, you know, with technology, both as consumers, you know, what we do with our phones and access a wide variety of services to shop and connect with people. And all that technology is finding its way into the enterprise now. And so I think the reason there's a lot of people here, there's genuine interest to see how they can change and move on to a new platform. It's interesting the way you said the technology is finding its way into the enterprise. Sure. Um, because you were talking about the digital natives coming to work for the first time. Yep. That was interesting. Is that one of the ways that technology is finding its way into the enterprises? You know, the, the kids that are coming out of uh, school this year is the first generation that uh, didn't know anything other than the internet. And on the internet, they're connecting and sharing and texting and going on to social platforms. And when they come to work, they expect that that's how work will be, mm. right? And they are in for a rude surprise sometimes because uh, very often technology in the workplace has not caught up with that reality. And so the, the, the fact that these digital natives are coming in is actually gonna increase the pace of adoption of many of these technologies in my opinion. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it, that you can just imagine these um, younger people coming into work, they share everything, they do everything on the go. It's yeah. all mobile for yeah. them. And then I, I think about a typical CIO in their 40s or 50s who's used to lock it down, <laughs> keep it in-house, don't let anything go out, we've got to protect all our data, we, we've got to grab all our data and hold on to it really tightly. This is going to be an interesting dynamic, isn't it? Actually, you know, it, that's changing too, because the CIOs really have, have a very interesting role in, in, uh, in trying to encourage innovation inside companies, and they realize that things have changed, right? Most of them actually have realized that they need to let devices come and bring your own device is a very important part of their strategies. There's still some that will try and you know, lock it down, but increasingly they're saying, okay, how do we now take cloud services and devices and bring them in in a safe fashion, right? A fashion that works for our company, also works for the employees. And that's really what Google Enterprise is all about. It's interesting the phrase you use, work the way we live, mm -hmm. um, because so many people are used to doing so many things quite naturally at home with their mm -hmm. technology right. that they wouldn't think of doing at work. Mm -hmm. And this technology is now coming together and, and giving us some very interesting outcomes, isn't mm -hmm. it? Actually, we find it that people, what the kids and, and what you use at home, um, over time, even if it's not the exact same product, the idea of, say, um, sharing things using cloud storage, so you put a file in your cloud and have access to it on any device. Even though they may not use the same product at work, the concept of doing it is very real. Or using social platforms, right? You may use a certain platform in your uh, personal life, but you expect at least uh, you know, a version of that, some kind of ability to share with your colleagues at work. Um, and we see that, uh, that trend actually accelerating. Mm, interesting that they, some of the social aspects of meeting, the hangouts and, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing, not only allow sharing of information at work, mm -hmm. but they also enhance the culture at work too. Mm -hmm. I don't know what yeah. feedback you've been getting about that. Yeah, actually we do a lot of uh, you know, company visits, so they come in and check out Google and our campus and so on. One of the first remarks that people make is, uh, there's, there's no walls, right? We have open floor, nice bright colors, and, and spaces where people can connect and collaborate. Um, and the tools actually help promote that as well. If you're you know, far flung in a different office, you can get that same feeling through a Hangout uh, video technology and collaborate and share documents together in real time and you know, make changes and, and bounce off ideas from each other. So this cultural transformation is certainly aided by technology. Uh, but it's also a real, you know, a real transformation that occurs in people's spaces, in the way 
technology promotes openness, where you can you know, ask your executive team ideas. I had a customer that started using Hangouts to do company-wide meetings. So they would just come in and open up, open up the ideas and, and let them flow. And, and that's, that's, technology plays a vital role in that. Do you have any companies who also use sort of hangout water coolers as well? Uh, just literally, just to hang out together actually, and have there a was chat this, over a Actually, there's this company in the Midwest that has this uh, gentleman, Bob, who works out of home and he just has a hangout on all day and it's facing, the camera is facing the person. So they go into this office where Bob is sitting, but it's not Bob. It's Bob on the hangout in his office. And he talks to people that way and like connects with them because he can't get there all the time. I guess it's like having an office with his door open at all exactly. times, right? It's an open door policy, right? Yeah. <laughs> What is the workplace of the future going to look like, do you think, just in two or three years' time, not the far future? And you know, I think one thing, um, a couple of trends that I think will emerge is people will talk to each other more directly but still have their technology with them, whether that's in the form of a tablet or a phone. You'll sit across from someone, whether it's a client or whether it's a colleague, and do things together. Um, and distances, uh, will fade away more as you know video technology gets more popular and you can you, you know you expect now to meet people face to face even if that's across a screen um, I see in the future uh, you know spaces getting more collaborative as we have at Google and many other companies where you know the cubicles and the walls and the way you know we are separate uh, will, uh, will at least lower down so people can see each other and connect in some real ways I think most people want to know how, how can they start. And that's, you know, sometimes the legacy, uh, the investment in that is so deep. Um, people have asked that question. And usually I just say, take one step. Just start somehow in one of the areas that we have solutions for. Experiment, move fast. Um, don't try and plan everything out. I know that's kind of very anti the traditional thinking. Because you learn a lot about yourself and your company and the culture, and you can iterate as you go. And, uh, and we think that that's a great way of actually getting going.